everyone welcome to another video now i'm not going to say it's a brand new location because we've been here before this was one of the very first sites i ever came back to when i started wandering around in 2019 we're at the site of the former bevercuts colliery and it was sunk between 1954 and 1958 and it kept on going until 1993 i believe it was the 7th of may was the last day of operation and at that point i think it was the top hard seam that they were working on and they're around about 807 workforce the highest number at any one point and it was a fully automated mine it lasted only 36 years but as you can see there is absolutely nothing left got a beautiful sunrise down there i'm hoping to take it with us because what we're going to do after we've had a little rummage around here is follow the former railway line back towards Walesby and Ollerton. So, let's have a good look. There's not much to see. There's a way bridge, few car parks, and a mysterious little like water trough thing. I think it's a filter or something down there. Let's crack on. Now, groundwork began for this colliery back in 1952. It was the month of July. There was a ceremony for the first turning of the sod. We're around about seven kilometers from Retford and almost 12 kilometers from workshop over in that direction. Retford's a little way over there. Back on the side of the pit, we see we've appeared in a former staff car park. Still got all the white lines down, look. Got the arrow there, look. Road marking. And all the parking spaces for the miners, workforce, any staff on site, basically. It's crazy to think that these white lines are still so prominent after so many years of being closed. Surrounded by trees as well, look. I wonder what that was all about. Maybe it was just to hide the cars away from prying eyes, I don't know. Let's get back over there to the site of the pit and have another rummage around. So leaving that car park behind, that's there, look. Some kind of internal access road. That tooted off down that way. There's a green gate there, so it must have been used for incoming and outgoing traffic. Still got the curb here, look. From where the road, I love the way it's landscaped with these trees. It's brilliant. Uh, an open, oh, an extremely, look at that. It was a long way down, wasn't it? Not going down there in a hurry. And then we come to this open expanse of where all those large buildings for the mining gear, the pit heads. It's such a large open area. I'm led to believe there's absolutely nothing left, apart from potentially the remains of an old way bridge down there where the railway line came in. So this large area here appears to be yet another car park, but it's absolutely massive. Still got the road markings down. You can only imagine that the first one we came in was like an overflow, I suppose. That's probably why the white lines and the surface looked much better than the one we're in now. But you can see this just goes on and on. It's massive. Over 700 uh, workforce, I believe, at one point here, though. So got a beautiful sky appearing. That's what I was hoping for. Had rain overnight, and now it looks like the sun's going to come out and clear us into lovely blue skies. This is the only remaining building on site. So we've got the B6387 over there, heading back to Ollerton in that direction, just to give you a location. See the platforms have all been 
Oh, they must have had to somewhat wallop that to get that to move out of place like that. A little bit of a weird echo just here as well. So we'll jump into the foundations, have a little look. There we go. Roof's collapsed there, look. We can walk through to this one, which I presume was another kind of office. It's looking outside. That's looking back towards the car park. And the remains of another building just here, but I'm not going to go in because if that roof's collapsed, then any of this could collapse at any point. So yeah, only building that appears to be on site. What we're going to do now is get to the start of the railway line, show you where it started over there. It's like a kind of a run round and a head shunt, and then we'll follow it back towards Ollerton. So situated in North Nottinghamshire, somewhere between East Markham and Clumber Park, we're going to start off at the site of the former colliery and we're going to make our way down towards Booton Junction where it would join on to what is now known as the High Marnham Test Track. That's the Lancashire, Derbyshire and East Coast Railway as it was previously known. We'll be heading towards Halton, Walesby before meeting up with Booton Brake Tunnel through the Booton Estate and eventually finishing at the former site of Ollerton colliery now it's at this point i believe this is where the rapid loaders were for the coal trains coming in you can see it's like a concrete foundation just there and there where you can imagine the rails to have situated you can just make it out look so if we turn about what oh, a beautiful sky if we turn about and follow it this way we've got more foundations look a similar gap where it looks like rails have actually been ripped up and down here I can actually see look at me getting all excited I can actually see rails so there's still some rails down here look so that confirms that we're in the right location not sure how far these are going to go it looks like it comes to an abrupt end just down here let's get ourselves down here and yeah there's one and there's the other so nice little section of rail to confirm that the line was here and it terminated down there is those trees over there we're going to go that way not going to go through the tree we're going to go around it and head on off towards Walesby Okay, first bridge coming into view. I'm not actually sure this one has a number or a name. It might be like a private road. If we go that way, it'll take us towards Lound Hall. So track bed looking back just to where it was just stood. A few sleepers knocking around on the perimeter fence. We've got to go this way. And there's a mound of spoil and muck to get over. So, ugh, don't like the look of this. Let's see. It's got a bit of a squidge on. Oh, look at all that crap. Oh, oh, yes, we're down. So underneath the bridge, the main road to Wales B, we'd be getting onto that if we followed the road for a few moments. And we're looking quite overgrown down here. Some sort of thing for electrical cable in there. Look. Let's get through this bit and it looks like it clears for us. Now this section here, I believe it was used for a uh, stockpiling of coal. I believe there was a point where there was a, a coal cleaning plant installed in the 60s. 
but because there was no production of coal at the point that this was opened and ready to be used they brought coal in from other pits to practice on you know to like clean the coal before the mine was fully operational and they could do it on site from coal mine from underneath on this location so there's our view looking back so we just come under that bridge and we've got a nice clearing at the moment i can feel i'm walking on ballast even though we can't really see it hopefully it'll stay like this for a considerable amount of time so there's a base there for some sort of signaling equipment look remnants of a sleeper he's still got the cable popping out the top i assume it's going to be dead they're going to have that cut off aren't they so that's one little find we've got isn't it i'll leave you with a little bit of music So looking at that beautiful sunrise look over there, oh look at that. That's amazing isn't it? That is a picture. Um, some sort of like farm track. And it is a, well if it's public footpath as well, there's a sign just there. So, momentarily, it will be a footpath before we get back onto the rough and tumble of the former track bed. So that's it, about 100 yards. Then it shoots off in that direction. Well, that's just what we've come for isn't it we're back on here again got another drain over there full on ballast probably another drain just there look perimeter fencing i think it was two tracks wide at this point looking at it down here there's still a couple of little items which are really worth a look at just before we cross over the river meaden actually stood on the bridge of the river Meaden. I believe it, there's two tracks wide here. We've got one hut there, we've got the wall there, and the river is down there. I'll show you that in a minute. We've got a hut on the other side, look. The river is a little way just out of sight down there. So if we shoot off and have a look around here, so there's the window for that particular hut, and there's the river Meaden flowing towards us. So that's coming towards us some steps look there's another little hut just behind lot i don't know if we'll be able to get to that one inside this one just a slab base lot you can just imagine the crew sitting in here there's the other one looking out of that window that's the direction of bevercote's colliery and that outside is the direction where we're going towards Wellesby and ollerton this little room around the back here it looks like it might have been a toilet or something I think it was a staff toilet, look. Ha! Yeah, that's good. Right, over the other side. Still got that beautiful sky, look. And you've got the slatted concrete walls. So there's the River Meaden again down there. So that's going to be heading towards uh, Retford, I suppose. Let's get ourselves inside. Quite a large area of that wall missing, look, but pretty solid at the back. Solid roof. Still got the hole for a chimney. I feel like an estate agent. Uh, £10 a week if anyone's interested. I can set you up in here. You have to bring your own sofa and kettle, and there is no broadband. So, two brilliant finds, brilliant sky, brilliant track bed ahead of us. Let's go.
that's shortly after opening uh, in 1964 for approximately two years the colliery did have to be closed and this was because there was the incorrect grade of concrete had been used in the shafts so the pit closed for two years repair work was ongoing to improve the condition of the shafts use the correct materials which were needed to make sure it was sound and structurally strong and the pit carried on going from 66 for another 27 years I'm about to cross a little bridge look it's just uh looks like it's farm access here yeah it is isn't it glad the weather's turned out as beautiful as it has done it's absolutely stunning this track bed itself so it's the usual pit closers that the line carries on going it was used up until around about 1997 for coal workings taking away spoil or coal stocks from the pads that we saw back there and also I'm not sure I believe coal was still being bought in and used at the processing plant as well and then taken out to the nearby High Marlon Power Station which was located over there towards Retford Way that's shut in 2003 I believe as we do progress further along these lines we get beyond Walesby and on the outskirts of Ollerton we've got Booton Brake Tunnel locally known as the Movis Tunnel and this was constructed in 1961 for the railway that we're on now to serve Bevercuts back towards Booton Junction on the former Lancashire Derbyshire East Coast Railway that's the line that runs between High Marnham off towards Shirebrook currently used as the network rail test track it's a cut and cover job it's got brick lined portals segmented concrete roof 350 yards long so we'll get to see that later I bought the bright torch for me the uh, death ray so we should be able to light it up really really well So crossing over the River Morn now and that, the source of that, it rises from the ground near Kirkby and Ashfield. It eventually meets up with the River Meaden that we crossed over a little earlier on before creating the River Idol. Yeah, that plane being fired up just a few minutes ago and it sounded like this almighty leaf blower coming from about half a mile away and there it went straight over the top of us so still heading towards Walesby so now we've also crossed the River Morn that means we've passed where the former Halton Chapel is just down there we went there a while ago Halton Chapel is about 15 minutes walk over there and it's the ruins of a thousand year old, it's over a thousand years old this chapel, not much left of it. I'll put a link at the end in case you're interested. Just down here we're going to go under the B6387 and that's been pretty much following us all the way from the start and that's taken us towards Walesby and Ollerton as well.
quite soon after the B6387. That's down there. We've just got under it. We're under another one, look. Uh, single width road bridge above us. I think it's farm access. It's uh, certainly not listed on the map as being named or numbered. And um, you've got a tree actually under the bridge popping out of the drain just there. And a nice stone abutment. Quite an angle up there. I think we're probably about a third of the way along the entire route. So plenty more to walk and see. Now back at Bevercuts, the Pithead Baths, they were opened in 1965 after replacing temporary baths up until that point. There was a control room, both underground and overground. And a little later in 1967, there was even a railway locomotive engine shed constructed and opened. Now I've been saving this one. Oop. <laughs> Now, I've been saving this one as um, one I wanted to redo from the very beginning for any eventual lockdown that we had again. And being in mid-January, we are in fact in one again. So here I am. I don't live more than a few miles far in that direction. So I thought, yeah, finally, I saw the weather report. It's going to be nice. I recently did Gedling. That was the last walk I did. You might have seen that. In places it was like overgrown. Considering this has been out of use just a little bit longer than Gedlin, it's in far much easier condition to wander along. I can see another bridge down there coming into view. Not sure what it is yet. When we get closer, we'll know. Still seems odd to see one of these lying around. I think there's a few of them along here. I remember seeing the odd ones still on the Billsfort Colliery branch when I walked that in 2019 as well. Just little relics, aren't they, from what was once here. So I'm currently surrounded by pig fields. Pigs everywhere. Pigs there, pigs there. Briefly left a cutting behind. Went about two foot above the field line. And now it looks like we're going into a small cutting again. The bridge I mentioned a little further back is slowly getting closer. Still got these little cable carriers in the ground lock. I bet, they, I bet they're still there for quite some distance. Uh, sleeper indentations as well. You can't really make them out, I don't think, but you can a little bit, can't you? Yeah. Still not at the bridge, there it is. I've checked it out on maps. It is like a, a farm access. So let's get underneath that and out the other side. having to deal with a, what the hell, a small amount of jungle. Looks like I'm going to come out of it. It looks about 20 metres or so. Yeah, uh, that's good. Back out the other side, it's a stone cutting look. Stone cutting, that's quite fascinating. It's just that little area which is totally overgrown. I think it annoys me the most out of anything with these brambles and things. I've been tying my shoelaces all the time. And I'm like, I can leave the shoelaces loose, but I hate having loose feet. Anyway, more importantly, we've got some sleepers and rail here, look. Just a stack of them, look. One, two, three, four. Another four there. A little bit of rail, two cut sections. That actually looks like it's broken, doesn't it? You can see the other one behind it. It just comes along to here. There we go, look. Oh, twig. Yeah, that's good. That's a good little find. See where that's fallen away from there, look. But it's always going to happen, isn't it? Right. Not sure what's next. Let's go and find it. No sooner have I just got out of that bit. Ah. Oh, it's still memories of Gedlin a couple of weeks ago. But still not half as bad as what that was. Little 
fence post through there, look, is it a mile post? I don't see why it'd be a fence seeing there's a stone wall about 20 foot high either side of me. Oh, look through here. There's an actual mile post through there, look, you see it? I'll get a photo. Yep, I fell over. First time ever. I'm on the floor of a railway track bed. <laughs> there you go, Linda. I'm going to dedicate that one to you. You've waited a good year or so for one of them, haven't you? And it finally happened. <laughs> you just all happened in slow motion. I don't even understand what the little squeal I did was when I fell. <laughs> Coming up to another bridge, let's uh, get back onto the matter in hand and see what it's all about. Right, so this up here, now I've composed myself again. This is Forest Lane. Uh, still pig farms either side of it. There's the bridge number just there, look. And that's the view back to where I just had my little mishap. So yeah, under Forest Lane, not long, we're going to go around a curve, a slight curve to the left as we head towards Ollerton. Walesby's over there, Robin Hood's Cave and the River Morn is over there. We'll soon be upon Boot and Brake Tunnel. There's another little bridge coming up in the far distance. That's, uh, ooh, rabbits. That's a farm access over bridge. That might be bridge number five if that one was number six behind us. And we're still in a little cut-in, if you're wondering, not see any drone footage for a little while. Just the aeroplanes that we saw. Um, staying away from them. And I doubt it'll let me go much higher than about 30 feet if I've tried. Hopefully as I get closer to Ollerton, we'll crack it out again. And have a bit of a flyover. Um, I swear this used to be in the the tunnel. Let's see what this. Oh. Hey, look. So it's the old sign for the bridge number. Look, bridge Bevercuts number five. Two miles, thirty nine chains. Wonder if someone's tried to walk away with that and realised it's a little bit too heavy. So there's that bridge behind us. Look. Little bit clearer in front, ballast on the ground and sunshine. Next stop, boot and brake tunnel. right now underneath Brake Road, Brake Road, where else be that way? And you can get onto the A614 to Doncaster or Ollerton the other way. I don't know if you can make that out, but there's two iron plates and there's one of them and it says 45 tonnes, or is it 4.5 tonnes? There's another one over here, let's see if it's a little bit clearer. I'd say 45 tonnes seems a bit... No, there's definitely no decimal in that, 45 tonnes. 
So what that means, anyway, coming out of Break Road Bridge, 350 yards long, boot and brake tunnel is waiting for us, just out of sight, just there. Let's go. So just out of the tunnel, still got a little bit of rail nestled down there, look. It's right outside the portal. And of course, it was tracked still down up until 2017, I believe, before it was lifted. So it was still operated by network rail and was believed to be used or supposedly going to be used as a location for network rail staff to practice working within tunnels. Here we are at the other end. You can see a prominent crack making its way all the way to the uh, coping stones at the top, look. All the way down. It's like a rectangular brick section there, as if they was going to put a plaque there, but they never did. Um, pretty good condition inside. Just met a couple of lovely gentlemen. So I don't know if you're watching this. Um, you've just passed me in Bruton Break Tunnel. Had a bit of a chat. Brilliant. Okay, got a cut in. There's one more bridge down there to get under, and then we're going to be into Bruton Estate itself, where They've advised me that the bridge over is fenced off, so we're going to have to divert around and pick it up somewhere inside Ollerton. So on the northern side of the tunnel, we've got Brake Road. That behind us is Brake Lane. Redford Road's coming up next. That is the road that I've been informed is fenced off on both sides. So we'll probably go as far as that and then make our way around somehow before getting back on near the former Ollerton Colliery and finish it off. So I know I need to get off the track bed just there where we've gone past. But I'm just going to take you up to, oh that sun's bright isn't it, straight in front. I'm going to take you up to this bridge that crosses Retford Road. So you can just see a little bit from above. Some lovely views over there, look. 
absolutely beautiful beautiful day so you got Tuxford over in that direction out of sight behind the hills and Retford's over there as well in that direction we've still got Cotton Power Station closed since September 2019 West Burton is out of sight over there and that is operational right now today but another leftover relic of some sort there it's like a cable used to be a the fall we got down again today another cables used to be attached there quite a high embankment now as we approach Retford Road and there are some of the cable carriers look the one there all the way along I can see them going for quite a distance to be honest now I already know that the next bridge after this one Tuxford Road I already know that's fenced off so when I get to this bridge I'm going to divert around a pair of them there's no point even attempting to get up in between just have to struggle to get up and down twice in order to see something that's going to take about three or four minutes to walk and do the same as what we're already on right now so we've got the bridge just coming into sight looks like there's a mile post there as well so yeah that's uh Retford road down there Heading towards Ollerton in that direction and now we've got to make ourselves to the other side of there. So I've appeared on the other side lot, so that's the other side of the Retford Road overbridge, that's bridge number BEC2. We're now going to make our way. I wasn't going to do this bit, I managed to get up onto it easily enough, so let's follow it. This here is the bridge over Tuxford Road, so we've got Ollerton over that way. Quite a busy road at times, completely fenced off again. Not going to attempt it. I think I should be able to shimmy my way down there onto the road. Harrowing pub and off towards Tuxford that way. So let's get down there. Again, that's the track bed from where we've just come from. Retford Road, Boot and Brake Tunnel and off to Bevercuts. That over there is the beautiful Ollerton pit woods, the remains of the former Ollerton colliery. So there's Tuxford Road just there, there's the embankment of the line we've just scrambled down. We're going to walk alongside it a little way now and then at some point get ourselves back up there and finish off today's little adventure. Right just out of sight down there is Tuxford Road and the bridge that we clambered down went under and followed the track bed along. Now what we've got here a speed restriction sign. There used to be an old stop sign there, I believe. It's an old signal post lock. Got its head removed, but we still got the ladder. So that would have been for traffic leaving the branch. Now on the opposite side, we've got a 25 mile an hour sign heading in the direction of the tunnel and also Bevercuts. So that's pretty cool that they're still standing. I'm not going to go much further down here. There is some sleeper indentations here looking a bit of something was there wasn't it yeah i put, put you away from the sun not going to go much further down here because we have got the high marnham test track live line doesn't matter even if it only sees one work in a month down there still a live line and we are not going anywhere near that as we never ever will do one more thing to show you down here i'm scurrying along is Another stop signal sign and a former signal post again complete with ladder. Isn't that great? So that signal has been stood dormant for ooh, a few decades. That would have been put in for when it was taken over as use as the test track, which I don't ever think it ever got used as a test track in the end. So yeah, 25 sign, signal, signal and stop board brilliant one more thing to show you down here and then we'll say goodbye
So that's what I wanted to show you down there, look. There's a little bit of rail. You've got the High Molland Test Track just out of sight there, look, or you can see it. Uh, now, these old rails that stood here, there's even a little bit of some sort of ground equipment there, look. They form part of the internal access or the sidings off the main line into Ollerton Colliery, which was all here and all over there. Closed in 1994, I believe it had 700 miners who were around that figure at the point of closure. So it's still nice just to see a little bit of the old Ollerton pit over there next to the live railway line. I absolutely hope you enjoyed this video and if it's your first time and you enjoyed this, subscribe below. There's plenty more already on there, plenty more to come. If you only came for a one-off, thank you very much. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you to everybody that's always here, regular, occasional viewers. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Please comment below. Hit the notification bell. I'll see you very soon from Ollerton Pit Woods. Goodbye. Over there, that's, that's the pit site. And what we've done is we've come behind, just have a look at this. Now, there's water, there's a gradual flow of water coming through here, starting at that end. And what I believe this could well be, being in such close proximity to the colliery, was this a form of filter? Was this where water from the pit that was pumped out, came through, popped out that end, and went into the riverbed, just laying down there. The river's flowing just down there. I'll show you the outfall in a minute. I'm going to see if I can get up to the other end. And just outside of that area, there is a load of old brick foundations, look. Yes, yeah, so this is probably about as close as I can get. So there is one more chamber in there. There's fish in there. I've just seen one. Um, and it comes through, and it looks like it's being filtered through in sections. There is a flow and there is a trickle. Let's get ourselves to the outfall. So there it is at its full length lot, and there's like a little overspill just here, look. The water's coming out. And if we follow that along, you can see the outfall at the River Meaden just there. That's the River Meaden. Quite high as well today. Right, so that's enough for that. Let's get ourselves back to the colliery and we'll start following that railway line off towards Ollerton and Booton Junction. <laughs>